take me on out of here. Yeah. Woo! Did he do it? He said, I I'm so tired. Oh my God, I'm doing everything you asked me to do. Oh my God, I just need you to take me out of here. Yeah. So what he's saying in the text, he wanted God to take him to the heavenly rest. Well, Have you ever had a grandmother, oh my God, on this side? But she's already focusing in on the other side. Yeah. I mean, all the people that she grew up with are already gone. How many know the world that she knew is no longer the same? Yeah. How many know the commonality of things? How many know even the TV programs are different than what they used to be? Well. Bugs Bunny and Edna Fudd, the cartoons are even different now. Yeah. How many know that's all coming out? And you get to the point that I know more dead people than I know alive. Yeah. But how many know we rebuke that spirit of depression? Yeah. And that spirit of loneliness? Yeah. How many realize that since the pandemic, how many realize depression has gone up 8%? Yeah. People can't stand to be alone. Yeah. Am I doing all right, Kenny? Yes, so when you know your permanent failure you had expected to the conversion of all Israel yeah. and possible Jezebel, he thought that Jezebel would be saved. Yeah. Israel would be saved. Well. How many know you think the people you help will keep being better? Well. But instead of getting better, they got worse. Yeah. I ain't talking nobody in here. Yeah. Yet he now has to flee for his life. Instead, the hope, the labor, and the struggle of his whole life appear to be ending in failure. Anybody ever thought that I failed? Woo! Seems like I'm not accomplishing anything. My children are crazy. My husband act like he ain't got good sense. I don't know who these folks are. Ain't got no help up in here. Y'all thought I had some help that time. How I many of these ain't the people I raised? I didn't raise my child to act like that. Seems like I must have failed somewhere. Yeah. But there is something called accountability and responsibility for your own self. Yeah. You can't be blaming grandma because she didn't raise you right. She raised the best she could. Yeah. Oh my God, in here. Let me help. Loneliness. I'm almost there. Loneliness. Anybody dealing with loneliness? He felt that he stood alone in the conflict for God. Truth and righteousness. I mean, you know, sometimes you feel like you don't have no help. Yeah. Oh, my God. He was physically exhausted well. after a long, strenuous journey. I mean, realize, he said, what's the use for me going any farther? Well. Oh, my God. But at that time, how I many know that God touched him? Well. Oh, Lord. He sent an angel to find him. Yeah. I mean, you know he wasn't eating. Oh, my God. He wasn't sleeping. Well. And God sent an angel to him. God dealt with his discouragement of Elijah in understanding in a caring manner. Yeah. I know what God does things. He does. How many know that God don't come loud and boisterous? But God comes in a soft voice. Yeah. Oh my God. He allowed Elijah to sleep. Then he fed Elijah with food. Yeah. He visited with him in, in an all inspiring revelation of his power and his presence. He provided additional revelation and direction. Yes. Sometimes God tells you it's going to be all right in a, in a minute. Yeah. Oh, my God, it's here. Yeah. Sometimes you feel like, Lord, I can see a way. But behind every dark cloud, the sun is shining yeah. somewhere. Yeah. He gave him a faithful companion with a kindred spirit. In other words, when God's children are miscarriage in the place where God has put them, they can through Christ ask God to give them strength, yeah. give them grace and encouragement to make them adequate for their situation. Yeah. How many realize in this text, Elijah had done everything God had asked him to do. Yeah. Oh my God, but still nothing changed. Yeah. I thought somebody going to lose their mind right there. How many has done all you know what to do, how to do, and how many know your situation is still the same? Uh, you know, Elijah was really tired. Oh, God. Well, and then God comes to Elijah. He said, well, I'm not gonna, I am not don't want to do anything else but go in the cave. Yeah. How many of the cave, there's no light in the cave. The cave is dark. Yeah. Oh, my God. He wanted to isolate. I don't want to look at him. I don't want to let my blinds open. Yeah. I want to be in my house in self-pity. Yeah. But God stopped by to ask him this question. He said, why are you here? Ah, that's a good one to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, why are you here? Do you realize what God has in store for you? Yeah. Oh my God, how many realize why are you here? Yeah. But how many 
you know what? Sometimes God allows you to be isolated. Yeah. Woo! I love the word isolated. I'm isolated so I can hear God. Yeah. Anybody here? What do I do when God is quiet? Yeah. Your GPS when you get close to your destination. And you say he ought to be saying something right about now. Now I'm gonna talk on this side. I mean, oh, sometimes he said he needed to be saying something. And talk to me by now. Yeah. I'm getting close to a thing, but when you don't hear nothing, what are you supposed to do? Uh, I thought I had to help that time. When you don't hear anything, you got to keep on driving. Yeah. Tell your neighbor you're closer than what you think you are. Yeah. You're almost out of the pain. Yeah. Oh my God, trouble don't last always. God is getting ready to do some amazing things in your life. Isolated so I can hear God. What do I do when God is quiet? Elijah learned that God works, proceeds, and events. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. How many know he thought God was coming in an earthquake? And how many know that God didn't say nothing? The thunder rolled. The wind blew. And he was waiting on God to speak in the wind and the thunder. God didn't say anything. How many know when it was loud and they were shouting, running all over the church? We falling off and just giving God some praise. But God ain't told you nothing yet. Know that you've been hurting. You're disquieted. Oh my God, you're depressed and you're going through some difficult times. But God is telling you to be still. Oh my God, that I got you. Can I teach in here? The revelation of God came in a still, quiet voice. How many know when everything got quiet? That's when God spoke. How many know quiet times? Also, how many know, how many know also stayed a heart to heart with God? How do you remember the last time you had a heart to heart with God? A one on one time with God. With the Creator is a regular individual section of Christian activity. I don't know, I need our little talk with Jesus to tell him all about my problem. Say, yeah, it has. How many know that God speaks in a quiet voice? I'm telling you today. Don't worry because it ain't happened yet. Oh, God in my head. Don't worry because it ain't manifested yet. How many know divine inactivity? You won't see nothing moving. But you still got to come to church and give God the praise. I don't know when. I don't know how. But I know God going to bring me out. I don't know when I'm going to get delivered. I don't know how I'm going to be delivered. But I know God going to deliver me. Not by power, nor by might, but by my spirit, said the Lord. Why are you here? I need you to look at him this time and say, neighbor, why are you here? God has greater for you. Come on and help me preach in here. Get the preach on in here. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, why are you in love God?
Oh! 